Hi friends, I'm going to talk to you today about five reasons you're drinking water wrong. Yeah, this came from Medscape and I didn't want you to miss this important information. And I'm sitting outside in kind of a lot of noise. Hopefully you can hear me okay. Hey, I just got a new um, mic. I'm going to go get it. Hang on. But I'm outside because I have people in my house that work night shift. Okay, I'm hoping that this works. I've got it plugged in, it already got charged, I turned it on, I'm hoping that you can hear me better. Anyway, I'm outside because people are sleeping during the day who work night shift. So let's talk about this drinking water incorrectly situation. So the first one is that people are continuing to drink water out of uh, bottles and containers that are not BPA free. So that's just kind of a given. We want to have uh, the less chemicals, the better. So BPA free is what you want in your bottles and your containers that you're going to drink water out of. The second thing is that some people claim, I guess this is going around TikTok, you know, I'm not a TikToker, but I have read that it's saying that people are afraid to be drinking cold water because there's a myth going around that cold water causes problems with digestion and even uh, narrows the blood vessels. Apparently there's nothing to support either one of those claims. And I think sometimes people get it from from something. So perhaps it's this, remember when you have a slushy and super cold and you, you get that terrible headache, you know, and maybe they're thinking super cold water can constrict blood vessels and cause symptoms or problems. Um, but there's nothing that supports that. That's considered a myth. Another way that people don't always drink water correctly is when they're taking supplements or they're taking their prescription pills, they think it's really cool to down everything without much water, like my husband. So are you one of those people that likes to brag by just having a small sip of water, you know, choking them down? Uh, that's really not the best thing for your esophagus. So I remember way back in pharmacology class in nursing school, talk, you know, telling us about how much water somebody should drink when we're giving them their medication. And the idea is a full glass of water or several sips of water with each pill is ideal because otherwise sometimes fragments, pieces, um, kind of like sand can be gritty and some pieces can dissolve and then it causes irritation in the esophagus. It's also just helpful to get it all the way through, but taking medications dry with only a tiny sip of water or no water at all is not ideal. Not drinking water when you're tired. So um, dehydration doesn't occur just with being super active or, uh, you know, exercising being sick, having a fever, dehydration just occurs in our body. I mean, we need water all throughout the day, pooping, peeing, um, running around. Even if you're not running on a treadmill, your body still is in need of water. And one of the signs of dehydration is to feel tired. So the encouragement is drink water, reach for water instead of reaching for more coffee or reach for water instead of having a Mountain Dew. Or if you're sitting out in the sun all day like my mom likes to do and then you drink no water for the entire day, just sitting in the sun, even if you're doing nothing, you're getting dehydrated. So she gets very, very tired and does not see the correlation. Not drinking water or alternating water while you're drinking coffee throughout the day or you're having alcohol. Now the alcohol and the coffee makes our body want to pee, so you're getting dehydration just based on that. Let's talk about the foods that help us stay hydrated. How about foods that are a good source of water? There are so many, but the top on the list are cucumbers, zucchini, watermelon, cauliflower, um, oatmeal, yogurt, strawberries. I've got a lot of these memorized. Hang on, hang on, there's more. How about if I didn't already say cucumbers, celery, Carrots, iceberg lettuce, I think I already said spinach, all kinds of soup. Last but not least, tomatoes. 